you know, if you think about it, it's actually kind of crazy. What I've done with my YouTube channel, and if I was still doing what I had done on my YouTube channel, which is driving around doing repossessions and showing other people uh, and interacting with those people, I couldn't do that today in the year 2020 like I did for the eight years that I did it. What I got away with during that time period was a very unique situation. I had certain clients that allowed me to do what I did and compliancy and the way things were, you couldn't do it today. Most repossession companies will not allow their drivers to record what they're doing and to show interaction with other people and show their faces. And yeah, you could blur out all that stuff. But the fact of the matter is, no clients would hire you to do what I do, did all those years any longer. There's guys that get fired for doing this. Now, there's a recent situation where uh, an agent got let go because he was putting his videos up on TikTok and uh, trying to do what I did with my YouTube channel. And I, it's kind of interesting to hear this coming from me because I'm the one that probably has the most videos of me doing this on the internet. There's a lot of people that are in this industry that absolutely hate the fact that I've done this and put these videos up on YouTube. And I actually agree with them I, I, because moving forward, this is not something that's practical or realistic to be able to put up on the internet and show people. And so there's like a time capsule of my videos that are up there. Those people, those, those situations, those lenders, what you're watching is from the past. And that's why it's able to exist up there. And what you get to know is during the years that I did it, it came at a huge cost. I lost clients that over time, certain repos, my most popular repos, when I say popular, I mean the ones with the highest view count. They're by no means my best repos. They're actually the worst shit shows. They're me, they're me at my worst. They're people at their worst and they are bad situations. Well, people like drama, nothing better than a fail. And I can definitely tell you that each one of those is darn near a fail because it involves another person reacting horribly and, and in some situations me acting horribly and it's it's on a certain level embarrassing and unprofessional for me to leave that stuff up there though is to show people the unfiltered truth of what happens the reality of life and I've chosen to leave that stuff up there not to gain something from it but so that others can learn from my mistakes uh, ultimately, you know, I could take that stuff down and be like, you know what, I don't need the world seeing me being a, a, a dipshit and not being myself and not, you know, because I learned along the way. And, then, and, and some of those are from, you know, 2011 and stuff. And I was still, even after years and years and years of doing this job, learning and coming into myself of, of, of what I picked up and learned about this. And, and I evolved over time with that channel. And what's up there is unique. And, and, and I hope to be able to leave it up there forever. Hope that, you know, years from now, people are able to watch that stuff 20, 30 years. And that it's like a time capsule, an encapsulation of it. But as of today, right now, you know, I get a lot of people like, hey, you're going you're gonna to get a truck and go out and do what you did. There's reasons why I don't. Mainly because I feel moved and motivated to do more beneficial things in my life that are still in the auto recovery industry. I want to do good now and, and, and be part of the solution and not part of the problem. And believe it or not, doing my job like I had to do it day in and day out, I would consider myself actually part of a problem. Uh, it's a broken system that needs uh, repairs. And my plan is in bringing the online repo academy to the masses and training people the proper way, the proper techniques. Turn right, then your destination. I had to be in the headspace I'm in now. I had to go through what I had to go through in life to be able to finally do this. I've talked about doing this for 10 years and now is the time of my life to do it because I've had a shift in my philosophy and the way I think as a human being. And, uh, you know, I will right. never post another video on my channel that shows me interacting with somebody in a repossession. 
yes, I still work in the industry. Yes, today, right now, I'm doing a job that involves me going out and skip locating and doing what I need to do. But moving forward, the bulk of what you're going to see on this channel is going to be me doing training and certification and compliancy and all of it. And you're, yeah, you'll see stuff where I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I'm videoing and we got a kid driving or whatever, the next generation, and they're learning the ins and outs of it. But it won't be me doing what I did since 2008. From 2008 to 2016 is a unique perspective on an industry that you'll probably never get to see anywhere else ever again because, uh, again, clients today, they won't allow it. They won't stand for it. They, they will never condone it, and you could never do it for real and get away with it. So that's something for people to be to understand, and I advocate for that. I advocate, believe it or not, the guy that brought it to you, I believe in that. I believe in the fact that, it, you know, it's just, it's not practical to show that. And, uh, and people in those situations, uh, I, I, I brought something unique to the table. And yeah, I get a lot of negative feedback um, because of it. But the reality is it's out there. It's done. Um, and even if I was to shut down this channel and, uh, and, and make it all disappear that wouldn't change anyone's perspective about the fact that I did it. It, it, it. It's cats out of the bag. The information's out there. Millions and millions and millions of viewers have seen it, and you can't remove that from the psyche of people. And so it's like it, it will remain, remain there for forever, uh, everything that's on this channel. But moving forward, the evolution of this channel is going to be about a solution, uh, fixing things in an industry that are broken and... Uh, finding a better way to do a very difficult job and being able to relay that and let the public know what I'm doing to, again, be part of a solution, not part of the problem. There's people that are going to hear this that aren't going to like that. And you know what? Watch my old videos. Enjoy what's up there. That's the, you know the best you're going to get from me. If people unsubscribe because I say this, you know what? It's That's not what I'm here for and it's not what I'm about. I'm about moving forward. Uh, being better than yesterday, improving, its ne that's never going to change about me. That's who I'm always going to be moving forward is a person that is always going to find the positive in things. And uh, it's the best message I can bring out of this channel is, is to always be better than you were yesterday. And that hasn't always been my message from day one. Uh, like I said, it's been an evolving message. But uh, nonetheless, I'm here today. I'm doing the best I can as an individual and as a human being. And most importantly, I'm doing what I can to uh, serve others uh, instead of my own personal interest because that's the best thing any of us can do is to, to look outside ourselves and figure out how we can uh, be empathetic to other situations. One of the worst things I hear people say is pay your damn bills. You know, that's the wrong attitude for anybody to have um, in life, period. Because... It's not about paying your damn bills. Life happens to all of us. Everybody ends up in a situation that they didn't see coming. That's how it works. And the karma you're calling forth when you say to another individual and you judge them and you say, how dare you? Take that finger and point it in the right direction and say, how dare you? Because it's about being able to step outside yourself and see another person's situation and understand and be empathetic and if, you know, guys that are in this job, if you can't understand that every driveway you back down, there's a family in crisis at the other end, get out of the truck, quit your job, do something else. Because you, you, that's the first and foremost thing you need to understand. It doesn't mean you need to be apathetic or not do your job or oh, give them a break or come back another day. No, you can still do your job, but do it from the right come from. Come from the space of understanding and empathy. And everything else will work out. It's, it's, it's the best message I can give people about uh, what we do. And it's a beginning point of awareness and spreading a message that is important. And if I can undo any negative that this channel has done out there in the world and in the auto recovery industry, it would be to spread this message and to, and to start from there. And hopefully people that are higher up in this industry, that are in the insurance side of it and in the... Uh, national certification side of it, and uh, at the national level, the big wigs, the guys that are the, the movers and shakers in the auto recovery industry. If this makes it across your table and you see this video, 
uh, I reach out to you and I, and I, I, I encourage you to spread throughout your organizations and from the top down, spread a, 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 a positive message that we need to understand that everything we are doing affects the overall economy for everybody, hugely. Second to the homing industry, the auto industry is the biggest one. And we, we, we affect everybody with what we do. And there's a better way to do what we're doing, a better way. We should be about account resolution as opposed to collateral collection. And uh, a lot coming that I'm going to be a lot. I'm going to have to say about this. Thirty plus years I've been in this industry, and I'm an intelligent person, and I see things that need to be fixed, and I'm going to advocate for fixing those things. Moving forward, I got I got a lot to, a lot going on in this channel. It's going to be exciting. It's good stuff.